Libra. Welcome to your Love Connection reading for the end of March. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. And let's see what's going on for you, Libra, for the end of March. And a love connection, this has to be an actual connection you believe you have with somebody. So you do have to know each other. You don't necessarily have to be together, but some form of a connection. And we'll see what's going on for you at this time. We'll get a Zodiac Oracle. <clears throat> we'll get an energy between you two. And then one for how you're both feeling about each other in the connection, clarified with tarot. And then we'll look at the actual situation, uh, advice, possible outcome, and extra messages with this step. So let's see what's going on for you. Libra, welcome. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's doing well. So this is for sun, moon, rising, and Venus, male, female. Doesn't matter. Could be past, present, or future. Please only take what resonates. Don't try to make it fit. It's not your story. All right. Libra. So we could get a sign element or planet with this deck. And uh, this part doesn't resonate, totally fine. So let's see what we get for you, Libra, <clears throat> at this time in love spirit, please. Libra in love, whoever they think about for this reading at this time. Libra in love spirit, please. Oh, that one definitely sticking in my hand and wanna let go. <laughs> we got the moon, that is just crazy. And this must be this, um, the Pisces moon maybe right now. This is my second reading and the second time this came out again. Wow. So the moon really, because uh, this is, today is February 25th. So I am recording these early. So definitely in the Pisces full moon, I think is, or new moon or whatever it is. I don't know. I'm not a moon expert. So definitely showing up in the readings uh, at this time. So the moon, you know, is Cancer or Pisces. About feelings, intuition, um, cycles going on here. Feminine energy, intuition. So, wow. So let's see, see how that plays into your reading. Maybe needing to listen to your intuition, or it could be about some sort of cycles or deep feelings and emotions. So Libra, let's get a uh, love energy between you and your person at this time, whoever you're thinking of. At this time for this reading, what is the love energy like between Libra and the, their person at this time for this love reading? Spirit, please. Okay, that one definitely wanted to come out. First chakra, Archangel Michael. So 35 here is 8, and that is all about travel, action, communication. So the first chakra is your base chakra. So that's all about the basic uh, human needs of life that makes your... Uh, foundation in your basis, like your home, your family, um, your work, and, you know, love, sex, all that kind of energy. It's, you know, money, uh, all that energy makes your foundation, whatever makes your foundation, this is that energy. Wow. So you could be starting on a new foundation with some money here, like building from the bottom up with a new person here, because the moon is about cycles. Libra. Okay. So let's get Libra. I'm going to put you on this side and your person on that side. One for each of you, how you're feeling about each other in the connection <clears throat> at this time. But if you feel like any time during this reading, any of the energies need to be flip-flop switched around, uh, please do that. So for you coming here, we have door to spirit. So very spiritual energy. <clears throat> five, uh, 32 is five which is about change. So maybe, you, you, you know, you're just becoming more spiritual. This definitely could be a spiritual connection between the two of you. Oh, that is just crazy. I got just, just got this for Cancer's reading, same position for their person. Wow. So, so we have the thinking man, which is 60, uh, 46, which is 10. And then that reduces to one, which is about new beginning. So I feel like you could be becoming very spiritual now or realizing how much of a spiritual connection this could be or is, but I think your person may be more um, analytical, you know, that kind of energy, like practicality and that kind of energy. They may not be as connected to spirit or spiritual energy as you. They're more into the physical things, the practicality of things, you know, thinking, contemplating about things, 
you know, analytical kind of energy about, you know, home, family, finances, um, all that kind of energy. So let's see what's on the bot. Oh, this is just crazy. I had well, a lot of repeating cards. So now we have the sun, which is total happiness, joy, success, abundance, victory, happy home and family, most positive card. And one, about a new beginning here. Wow. So this could be a new beginning, very spiritual healing, happiness, joy, connection you have with somebody, a new cycle starting. So you could be starting definitely a new cycle here with this person. You could be the more uplifting person, like positive energy, you know, faith, spirituality. And they're more practical, you know, about work, career, finances, you know, paying the bills and that kind of energy. But we'll see. So I'm going to clarify this deck here, all this energy. So um, Libra, I am having a giveaway for reaching 10,000 subscribers as a thank you to everybody for their support. So if you're interested in, in winning a tarot deck along with a free 20 minute reading of your choice, check the description box and the pin top comment on how to enter. It's open through March. It'll close April 1st and then I'll pick a random winner. And if you uh, do, good luck to you. So Libra, let's see what's going on here <clears throat> for you Libra with the door to spirits. All right, I'm feeling these two. The chariot moving forward successfully in the Ten of Wands. So that is a burdensome energy, though. The Ten of Wands. I'm not getting like like a heavy burden, like, oh, this connection's just a burden. It's like I can't deal with it anymore. I'm not getting that energy. I'm getting the energy of like, how do I want to say this? Um, like you're laying down all the past energy you had about relationships and faith, spirituality, religion. And now like you're in a whole new spiritual world, spiritual realm on how you think about um, people, places, things, connections, relationships, love. And now you're just moving very forward, very successfully you know, spiritually with the sun energy here with this person. And again, they may be more of the, um, physical, uh, I can't say that word, uh, practical thinking kind of person, not really into spirituality. Yeah. Seven of pentacles energy. So yeah, they're like, okay, how can we invest in this, invest in that? Where do we put our money and, you know, saving and all that kind of energy with the seven of pentacles is like investing wisely and then waiting for the profit or waiting for, you know, it to blossom kind of energy. Seven of Pentacles is all about, you know, work, career, finances, material things, education. <clears throat> so let's get one more. But they're definitely thinking of you with the thinking man here. So they definitely see you as someone that they can build a life with. It's like investing here with the Seven of Pentacles. Someone that they want to invest in. Two of Wands. So that could be about being at a crossroads sometimes. Um, needing to make a choice or a decision. Which path do I go down? But it also can be just, you know, making plans and decisions for your future. Moving forward. So two kind of energies there. I'm getting more of an energy. Your person is always looking at different avenues, different um, paths. Which one is the better one to invest in for your relationship, for your whatever it is moving forward. I think they're always looking at that aspect of the relationship. And you're, you're ready to move forward with this person <clears throat> very successfully with the chariot. The sun overlooking this whole situation, you know, healing, happiness, joy, happy home and family, enlightenment, healing. Um, everything positive with the sun there. So you got the sun and the moon. Don't of spirit. So let's see what the actual situation is here for you. So we have the world. I feel like you're like just like divinely connected to the universal energies of the world. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. 
But the world can be about uh, closing out cycles, a new cycle starting, whole new world with this person, growth, expansion kind of energy. Page of Pentacles. So there's a solid communication, a stable offer, very grounded and secure, commun you know, very stable communication. So communicating, you know, I am ready for this new chapter, this new world, this new cycle, moon cycles. Very stable, grounded energy. The Page of Pentacles energy. So what else for the situation here for you, Libra? Now we have the Four of Pentacles. So that is about stability, structure, foundation, holding on, not letting go um, kind of energy. A lot of Pentacle energy here. So it's right in the middle of your spread. So I, I'm just feeling like this is a connection that... You both want to make sure it's very secure and grounded and stable and also not wanting to let each other go kind of energy. So now we have the Page of Swords. So this person's very honest and blunt, I feel. Um, not afraid to cut out things no longer serving them. Telling it like it is. Um, again, you know, the Page of Swords can be about spying. I, I feel like you're already together and you're like planning either maybe to get married or to move in together, wondering is this the right thing you know next step or leveling up the um connection the page of swords can be about spying i'm not really getting that uh it can be about going online online doing research learning new things and I, it's under their energy so i feel like there's someone that's always constantly researching what's the best best avenue the best path for our future for our life for you know whatever here and then not afraid to use that sword. Okay, this isn't working, so let's do this. And like an abrupt change, they're not afraid to do that. To go down a new path at any time. And they're very open, honest, and clear, too. They think a lot, but they're very open and honest. So there you go, Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, they could be somewhat, I don't want to say obsessed with money, because they have a lot of Pentacle energy here. They could be somebody in finances, but uh, they want to make sure that the future holds this Ten of Pentacles for the two of you. Stability and abundance for the long term, never having to worry, having everything you need, happy home and family, uh, legacy of a family dynamic, passing it down through the generations, because you see like the castle in the background there. So they want to make sure like you're set for life. This is marriage commitment card. Also, so, and I felt that with the Four of Pentacles, like this is a connection that you will not be letting go of, and it's mutual here. So you could be actually planning, you know, your life together. Maybe you just got married, or you're planning on getting married, or engaged, or moving in together, or whatever your situation is here. All right, so let's get your advice for this situation. The Two of Swords. So something about <clears throat> needing to make a decision. Are being indecisive so let's get a few more here the emperor emperor empress doesn't matter the four of swords all right let's get one more let's get one more for your advice in the page of cups so we have so the two of swords can be about being indecisive but we have the emperor here which I feel like is directed to them. So they could be, you know, maybe they own their own business or they're um, a high-ranking boss or they're an entrepreneur or something like that. They could be like a president of a company or CEO or just something here where they do make a lot of decisions with the Two Swords energy. So I feel like what I'm getting here is as you're moving forward and if this person you feel like i don't feel like they neglect you but maybe they're so concentrated on other things other than like the love and the connection between the two of you just concentrated on you know the basis of a relationship and the foundation and the home and the work and the career and the finances that sometimes they forget about being in that loving connection between the two of you and maybe, you know, you feel like a little like cut off from them sometimes because there's so much in that like emperor energy. 
Maybe you just need to remind them sometimes to, hey, take a break. You know, let's sit down, relax, rejuvenate, you know, kind of energy, you know, rest. And, you know, loving communication here, reminding them, you know, can we be a little more loving? Can we have a little more loving communication, affection kind of energy? You know, because you may feel like, you know, you're not really getting. I mean, you, I think you know that they, they like love you and stuff, but maybe they don't show it a lot. <clears throat> so maybe you need to remind them what loving, compassionate, caring kind of um, communication. It also could be apologies, maybe them apologizing for I'm sorry for not being, you know, so loving and caring and affectionate. Maybe you just need to remind them, hey, can we be a little more, you know, loving? <laughs> As I say that, here comes the Ace of Cups. So I feel like if you say, hey, you know, tell them that, that this is, you know, the Ace of Cups here. So very spiritually, divinely guided cup of loves. Um, so there definitely is brand new beginning in love here for the two of you, divinely guided. Love and emotions. Now we have the Knight of Cups. So I feel like they will be more affectionate, loving, caring, nurturing, giving, uh, affectionate kind of energy. And very successful here with the Six of Wands. Very passionate, loving. So not only will the, this two love cards here, they'll be moving forward um, with more love and affection, but also passion. So <laughs> and very successful energy here. So if you haven't been feeling that, and I, feel, and I feel like if you tell them, hey, look, you know, maybe you're un indecisive about, you know, saying something uh, to them about it. I think if you do, that it may be what they need to hear and things will get even better than what it is for some of you, if that makes sense for some of you. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. They'll be coming forward with all their love and emotions and feelings, affection, and their passions. So if you haven't been seeing that, get ready because here it comes. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom. Seven of Swords. So yeah, I feel like they're, this could be about lies, deceit kind of energy, but I'm not getting that. It can be like, you know, getting out or leaving a situation no matter what, like sneaking away. So let's see what's behind that. The Wheel of Fortune. So this is fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in a better direction, things going in your favor. So I think they're going to look back and say, gee, you know what? My person is right. And now things are getting better, uh, going in a better direction, fate and destiny. You know, they may take a minute here to think about it and reflect. Wow, you know, you know, my energy here. And maybe, you know, they may stress out about this or maybe you're stressing about saying something to them about this communication or they're stressed out, worried, or what if I lose this person? So I'm now rushing in here with truth and clarity, uh, fast action and travel and movement um, kind of energy with the sword energy to the soulmate here, not wanting to lose the soulmate. So being more loving, caring, nurturing, giving and affectionate kind of energy. So let's see, we have here Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Virgo. We have Sagittarius. We have Leo twice here. Uh, well, we got the sun over here, which is Leo. Cancer or Pisces with the moon energy. We have, um, let's see, Cancer. We have um, Earth energy here, I feel, with the world. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but it's also Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus, I believe. And then, let's see here, we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces again. Let's see. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So those are the other signs I see. So I'm going to pull some extra messages here for you, Libra, in this connection. And Libra, you can check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified. You won't miss out. You'll get about five, re four or five readings a month. Right now, I do two love, two general, and a bonus, but I may be changing it up. I'm not sure. But either way, you get four or five readings. So if you do, thank you. So let's get some extra messages for you, Libra. So I do feel like this could be a new, like moving in or leveling up, or maybe you just got married or whatever here, or planning on getting married. 
that you need to be honest with this person if you feel like they're not giving you enough attention, you know, in love or, you know, passion or whatever, that I feel like it's something that they need to hear and they're going to think and reflect on how they're, you know, giving all their attention to the other things of a, of a relationship rather than the passion and the love. And then here they come with all this passion and love and things getting much better, especially with that sun energy. All right, so let's get... Let's get more messages here for you, Libra, on this connection. Yes, so definitely your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly, and that's the moon about cycles and uh, intuition. So definitely yes here to take action accordingly. Treasure chest and unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now, and this is all the love and passion this person is going to give you once you tell them what's on your mind. Set your sights higher, increase your standards, and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. Exactly. Don't settle for, you know, them not giving you the attention or the connection or, or the relationship, the attention. Uh, don't settle for that. Set sights higher, and things are going to get much, much better between the two of you. Let's see what's on the bottom. You're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see results yet. So that could be a message. And that's the Wheel of Fortune we had uh, right there. Divine energy. Helping this connection along. Divine timing, something meant to be. And things going in a better direction between the two of you. Okay, Libra. Well, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.